The debrief meeting is something we like to do for our clients. We like the CEO to go first um, to tell us about his or her retreat experience because it's usually really moving for them and we want to get them in a really vulnerable place before we explain the strategy. Before my retreat, I thought I knew everything about my product. What it likes, what it doesn't like, ins, outs, what it would like to read hypothetically. And after my retreat, I realized how much jealousy and hate I was really carrying in our relationship. I, I wanted it to just be, you know, me and it, just going through the world, figuring it out together. I mean, you have to understand, me and this product have been together through some of the darkest times in my life. Looking at my product right in the eye for four full minutes really allowed me to understand how much jealousy and hate I was holding in our relationship. Honestly, me and my product had a lot of fun on our retreat. Before my retreat, I really thought I was ready to share my product with the world, but now I know that I actually am. Inspiration inspires me more than anything in the world. And JP's story is incredibly powerful and his brand is incredibly story. For those who aren't necessarily creative or um, don't really get creativity, we like to just um, break things down, basically break our strategy down for them. In our first meeting, we all agreed that it would be most appropriate and exciting to have an influencer campaign for this particular brand. Before we could really begin on the influencer campaign though, we had to first come up with the message of the brand. And we really find that people just like being told what to do. It's really that simple. Like, just do it. Just do this thing or whatever. And they're like, okay. We approached Dak Lambert, American Ninja Warrior Champion and um, absolute sweetheart to represent this brand. Um, these kind of athletes are really in right now. Dak Lambert, the American Ninja Warrior Champion almost, has agreed to feature Chups, the product, on his training vlog and he has over a hundred thousand billion followers in Australia and we are so excited to reach them. We thought it would be most exciting for Dak to have his own flavor of Chups, so his own packaging, his own face. We thought his flavor could be Kung Tao. This is really in right now. Uh, people love to know how to pronounce names that they already know how to pronounce. And so, we need to talk about the most important thing in the world. We want this product, this ketchup product, to be special for people. We want it to be an exciting part of every meal, um, an exciting part of every burger. What more special than a Buffalo Wild Wings? So like where you have the ketchup and the mustard on the side, just get rid of that and there'll be um, slats of chups. Because there are ketchup bottles out there all over the world that are taking up space where chups should be. It, it, this is a zero sum game. There, it's either ketchup or it's chups and we need to get rid of ketchup because you, this is the future. This is the solution to the problem. And finally, for our placement strategy, we are going to have um, special displays in every grocery store um, of chups. And um, in the display, there will actually be the vlog. Um, we'll get like a screen in there or whatever. And of course, feature um, boxes of chup singles. And we want people to see the display and think, that's my Buffalo Wild Wings thing. That's my thing. We're really excited to get started working with Dak and work, get started working on the vlog. We're gonna have him, I don't know, jumping around and stuff, um, being athletic, maybe some shirt off. And um, it's gonna be great. And we'll meet back up again at the engagement wrap up party and we'll show you what we want.